Hey, it's Ryan from Binder Parts here. I uh, just want to do a quick video on timing the International SV motors, the small Vs. I have a 345 here in front of me. Uh, ignition timing is very similar to other motors. Uh, the only thing unique to International was the fact they timed off the number eight cylinder. And when looking at the motor, from the front on the left hand side or passenger side number eight is the rearmost cylinder and with internationals it's pretty easy to tell because they have the numbers cast into the intake runners so there's eight six four and two they also have the firing order cast into them usually as well which is useful uh, so for the timing you need a half inch wrench to undo the clamp at the base of your distributor you're gonna plug the vacuum advance line, which is this one that comes off this vacuum pot, goes into the carburetor, so you wanna plug that. You're gonna hook up your timing light and uh, with the engine running, obviously, and carefully, you check the timing and there's a mark on the front damper. You can see the line right there. And you're gonna line it up with the marks on the front of the timing gear cover. And you can see that right there I'm pointing to. And there's actually the number zero up to 20, to 20 degrees before top dead center on that casting. You can see it there. And so you're gonna get your timing to where you want it, where your engine's running the best. Uh, I've noticed personally, most of my international motors, they don't like a lot of advanced timing. They typically want to run like around five degrees before top dead center or less uh, depending on how you've built it and stuff um, outside of that that's about it they're pretty straightforward pretty robust motors if you have any questions you can post them in the comments thanks bye